Hello there, everyone, and uh, welcome to uh, this video. Especially welcome all the guys at Vogon's forums. Uh, I just received Johannes. I hope I'm pronouncing correctly. Johannes, is it? Uh, I just received his card, and uh, I just installed a gal, a lattice one actually and uh, a couple of uh, Philips SAA chips and uh, I'm ready to test it so uh, let's start with maybe uh, well, let's see what we have here yeah let's start with an adventure game of course Monkey Island that's the benchmark Okay, so let's test it in uh, Game Blaster mode. Here we go. As you can hear, Game Blaster is working perfectly. Alright, this one is very good, it's working alright, so let's exit, uh, let's test something else, sorry about this, I'm filming it with, shooting it with the uh, my uh, cell phone, uh, let's test Indiana Jones, Six G. And there you go. Right. This one's fine. Um, now, as we all knew, and uh, as we know, uh, this card has the uh, CT1336 bus chip, not the A version, the normal CT1336 without the A, and um, the 2.02 .02 DSP which uh, we thought, and I personally thought, was the culprit in uh, some people upgrading it. Uh, the cards would have dead, um, you know, um, OPL2, AdLib, and uh, Sound Blaster Sound. So, uh, the moment of truth, let's test. Uh, I'd say uh, this is more appropriate. Let's do Spear of Destiny as Wolfenstein has the uh, Nazi anthem as title song, so Spear. Yeah. Sound Blaster is detected. Uh, we have OPL2 sound. Alright. Let's see if we... That's right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Everything's working like it should. OPL2 is working. Digital effects is working as well. All right, let's test something else. Uh, I guess. Let's do one thing I do find is this card. These uh, Sound Blaster 2.0 cards are very noisy. Okay, so let's do Wing Commander. There you go. OPL sound working. skip this part there you go I will speak with Prince Thrakath alone guards you are dismissed arise grandson there you go it seems digitized speech and sounds are working perfectly so uh, it seems that the uh, version DSP version is not the culprit now we have a confirmation uh, so uh, we still need to test uh, well I guess we're not gonna need it but uh, because we already um, tested uh, CT1336A cards with the 2.02 DSP and those don't work. Uh, so I don't think that testing a, a CT1336A with the uh, 2.01 DSP is going to be important. So I guess for now uh, it seems that uh, the uh, bus chip could be uh, the culprit. We're, we're, we can't be 100% sure, but uh, uh, we can now see that uh, at least it's got nothing to do with the uh, DSP version. Uh, we also can see that it also it has nothing to do uh, with the, a GAL manufacturer, although uh, SGS Thompson ones don't seem to work properly uh they pro probably have their fuse meanings their fuse map different from from the other gals but as far as far as it goes uh normal um national semiconductor and both lattice gals work perfectly so that problem is out of the way uh and uh also the dsp versions are not the culprit for the dead uh Sound Blaster and AdLib parts. So thank you very much for watching and uh, keep safe, guys.